Tefu, you're one of the, the uh, ambassadors. Um, is it crazy that you the last uh, Chiefs player to lift this trophy? Do you get reminder of that? Yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit crazy, but uh, nothing to be proud of in terms of being a uh, former uh, Kaiser Chiefs footballer. You know, like uh, this is a team that has got so much um, history, a rich history of winning trophies. Um, you know that the, the cup winning pedigree you know has been challenged for the past i don't know six seven eight seasons so i mean like you have to to win something to get uh, the monkey off your back and i feel like this 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 new um trophy um brings an opportunity for chiefs to have a good start and personally what memories does this trophy bring for you you know as they were playing clips of you uh, before the, the, the press conference started? Well, uh, for me, it's, you know, um, that header um, against uh, Senzo Meiwa, may soul rest in peace, um, at uh, Moses Mabida on the 20th of September, uh, 2014. Uh, I remember that day, uh, it was the first time that, like, I was given an armband uh, to Captain Chiefs. And, you know, like, just the emotions that day, uh, being introduced as a captain and winning, I mean, scoring a winning goal and lifting the trophy for me, uh, it's the stuff that like dreams are made of. Yes, and your former team, they, they play Cape Town City. Yeah. Uh, yeah, what do you make of that encounter, you know? Uh, well, it's, it's not going to be easy. Look, it's, it's top eight teams from the previous seasons. So there's no easy draw, you know. So at the end of the day, Whoever you're going to play against, you have to make sure that like it's a it's a one-off thing, you know. It's it's winner takes all, so they have to go all out and test uh, the combinations with the ingredients that they've gathered uh, in this new season. You know, I, it was just a bit disappointing that they lost in the manner that they lost against Sundowns yesterday. But I feel like everything is going to come together, and a good test will be to beat uh, Cape Town City in Cape Town. Yeah, I was about to ask, you know, what, do you, what did you make of their start I mean, in the past two games? You know, what, what have you seen from them compared to last season? Well, with, with the Sunlands game, I feel like uh, in the first half, they were a bit, you know, shaken. Um, and obviously, like, Sunlands is, is a big team. Um, so the guys, they were still a bit nervous. But like in the second half, they came together. They played a great game. Um, in my opinion, but uh, you know, mistakes happen uh, with, with Peterson in the last minute. Um, you know, my former coach Stuart Baxter used to tell us that, like, you know what, um, we should blame an individual based on their tactical mistake uh, compared to their technical mistake. So, what Peterson did yesterday it was just a technical mistake. You can't wrong him. So, everyone made mistake. You have to pick yourself up uh, from that and keep going. But the combinations are coming together. I'm, I'm impressed with uh, the defensive organization, with the midfield. Uh, still something lacking up front. But I believe it's something that like they can always work on. And uh, to the new strikers, obviously, once you score one, two goals, you know, everything comes together and you gain that confidence. You get the supporters on your back because Chiefs has got a lot of supporters and you have to make sure that you do something that can put something positive, you know, just something on your back uh, for confidence sake and, and, and all of that. Yeah, and I was about to ask, uh, because you also played a centre-back, Chiefs have a left-footed centre-back in TT, uh, he's partnered uh, by Msimang. Um, you know, what makes a good uh, uh, you know, partnership, because you had one with Tower and, you know, what can these two learn from what you guys did with Tower? It's all down to communication, you know. Um, communication is everything. Uh, because, like, most of the defenders, especially centre-backs, you don't have to be the fastest, meaning that you have to anticipate well, you have to make sure that, like, you are in good defensive postures, in good defensive positions. So I think if they can get that right, which, which I feel like um, they've gelled in, in very well together. You know, they've played very, very well uh, together. It was just unfortunate that they considered the goals that they have considered so far but um, combinations like that take a couple of games you know to to, to get it solid but it's, it's it's well balanced they are still young they can learn from each other they can guide each other they come from different backgrounds and that can contribute 
uh, into forming a solid um, combination. Second last question, let me ask you an unfair, uh, it's an unfair one. Um, you know, what would make a good season uh, under Coach Mlefin taken from what you've seen in pre-season and these two games, do you think they have what it takes uh, to, to, to sort of compete on all fronts, Cubs and league as well? I, I think they have assembled um, a great team uh, in all departments. Uh, obviously, what, 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 what's lacking right now is, um, you know, the, 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 the finishing up front. But like it's still early days, we can't judge them. Um, the, the, the strikers are still adapting. Uh, so let's give them a chance. But what I feel like will make a, a great season is just to win a few games and then you get your supporters behind you. That's the only thing because I feel like what has been happening in the past seasons is that, you know, the spillover effect where you didn't do well the previous season and then you come into the new season and you don't do well in the first few games and then the supporters, they put in the pressure, the media as well. So if, if you... you you, you get a buy-in uh, from the supporters and the media in terms of like great performances like it can transform a season into being a great one yeah last question i wanted to ask you this because you kept keep on mentioning the fans a lot mm -hmm. you played in a team that had kingston Gata, very had a love-hate relationship with the fans mm -hmm. we saw yesterday um ranga chava Vairo, you know the fans also getting on his back, calling for his substitution. Yeah. You know, as a new player coming at uh, Chiefs and you have been there, what, what what do you say to a player like that when the fans get on behind your back? Because you've seen firsthand what he did to Kingston at some point where he was also, you know, retaliating in kind when yeah. he scores. I, I feel like it's just down to, you know, the support that you are going to receive from your teammates, from your coach. What happened with Kingston was like, you know, uh, Stuart Baxter always believed in Kings Kingston, and he was a vital ingredient um, in the in the in the in the team. And also, we we rallied behind him. Uh, so I feel like um, if such things happen, you know, because like you can't really control the supporters. Um, supporters are emotional, and they want to see their team doing well. You know, Chiefs has been a laughing stock for a couple of seasons now. So um, what needs to happen is like. Um, the, the players, you know, the, the, the staff needs to get behind those players who are going to be booed when they are not doing well, when they are not scoring goals, you know. Um, if you believe in his quality, you have to believe in him. You have to encourage him that, like, he must shut everything out and just focus on scoring. He's a quality player, he has proved that, and he has to continue proving that.